this video, I will try to explain the process from passing three vertices to the GPU, to displaying a fully colored polygon as output on the screen. In this example, the box on the right will represent our pixel screen. It has a resolution of 12 by 12 pixels, so that we can simplify the whole process. Our first vertex will have the position 8x to 10y on our pixel screen. We'll give it a red color, which we'll write down in RGB. Our next vertex has the position 1x to 3y, we'll give it a blue color. Our third vertex has the position 9x to 1y, we'll have a green color. Now we can save each vertex as its object. To rasterize our polygon, we are going to apply the Bresenham algorithm. The Bresenham algorithm allows us to draw pixel lines between two points. Let's start with drawing a line between the red pixel and the blue pixel. First, get the position of the two pixels. The linear equation would look like this. And when we apply Bresenham, we get all the primary pixels in this line. Let's do the same for the blue and the green pixel. And finally, also for the green and the red pixel. For each highlighted pixel, we can return its position and save it as a new vertex. But before we draw them on the screen, we need to know which color each pixel will receive. This can be achieved with interpolation. Let's look at our first line that we've drawn. In total we have a length of 8 pixels. On our first pixel, we have 100% of our blue and 0% of our red. We are using the linear interpolation. For the next pixel, we have 68% blue and 40% red, which results in this new color. Now we repeat this process for each pixel, until we hit the end, which is the red pixel. For each new color, we can save it relative to its position in our vertices. Now we need to fill in the rest of the pixels with the scanline algorithm. To apply this method, we need to sort all vertices. So we are going to save each vertex X position with the same Y position in a list. While sorting, we can see that each Y list on the left side represents a line with all the active X positions on its specific height. After sorting all the X values, we save all Y lists in one array. With this array, we can now access each X with the same height by giving the height as index. Now we can start to fill in our triangle by drawing a one-dimensional line with starting point x1 and end point x2 on its height y. On height 10 we can see that the value 8 is stored twice. This is done so we don't have to check the length of the list every time we want to draw a line. Our start position is always the pixel before a gap or the neighbor of the last position, while the end position is right after the gap or the last position in the list. We interpolate each line by getting the color from x1 and x2's position that we had stored while interpolating our roster. After we successfully looped through every height of our raster, we have our final result. 
a colored polygon on our pixel screen. Thank you.